Okay. Uh, this is a pretty concise summary of, of where we were at, you know, yesterday evening. Today from the Eliza Blue PR news desk, Ian Crossland addressed the venti censorship, calls out Eliza. Yeah, and he spoke directly to her and was like, if you're abusing TOS, that's not right. You know, these accounts should not be suspended unfairly. Candace Owens and Mark Dice speak out. Candace's piece on Eliza is set to come out tomorrow. So that is something I am excited to look out for. And Mark Dice also chimed in on the subject. I think he wrote a long comment, I believe, on like a YouTube comment somewhere. Uh, Tim Pool publicly apologizes to Jeremy the Quartering, wants unity to fight together. And I think that was definitely communicated in his stream last night. I tried to, I was like sitting in a scalding hot bathtub because that's what uh, lessens my anxiety, I guess. So I'm like in the bathtub, like watching Tim Pool. And he seemed to, the the guy, uh, you know, I, I really respect that he kind of fessed up to kind of being an asshole. And, uh, you know, he, uh, to me, it seems like he was apologizing to basically everybody involved. Um, I mean, it was, a, it was as much of a, as an apology, I think, as he's ready to do right now. And I think he's just under immense pressure not to make excuses for him. But um, it's it's been interesting because I've, you know, even though he unfollowed me at one point, we have been in contact, you know, throughout this whole thing. And it is interesting because I people people have been saying like, oh, you know, he because he finally brought up the Eliza thing a little bit more. And he brought up my tweet uh, where I show all of my videos that got taken down from YouTube. Eliza gets dozens of videos taken down off YouTube, nearly 10 creators directly affected myself, Venti, Farron among them. Things are picking up quickly. Things should have always been about censorship and not placing Jack Murphy beards on Tim's hat, regardless of how funny they are. So this is where we were at last night. And then Tim did his stream where he was basically kind of saying to everybody like, gosh, we've really like lost sight of, of our, we lost focus of what's important here. And I don't know. It's, and now I'm hearing like Eliza is melting down. All right, let's, we're going to jump around a lot. Obviously this is going to be a messy stream today. Kevin Brady. Thanks for the five. Been watching this whole thing. You handled everything very rationally while people were screeching. I hope people learn from you. Oh, thank you. I just try to see, I really try to see uh, things from other people's perspective. And I really, I really feel for Tim Pool. I've seen people, you know, in the chat last couple of days say, oh, Chrissy, you're, you're trying to defend Tim Pool because he, he mentioned he wants to have you on his show. The truth of the matter is I have been in talks about getting back on the show since the beginning of January. Um, tried i tried emailing the booker for some because you know tim and i spoke and he's like yeah email the booker you'll you know we'll try to get you on i think i emailed the booker january 5th or 6th she said there was nothing available i said okay let's work on like something maybe in the spring so it's it was a discussion before all this eliza stuff popped up and uh i do feel for tim because i think he's uh at the end of the day, like he's still just like one guy. And, and those of us who create content or whatever, or if you're just mouthy on Twitter, we've all had shit said about us. And, and I just can't imagine like what that's like for him, because I know all the insults that people say about me. Some people are, you know, correct with their insults. They say things I'm actually insecure about. And some people just say full fledged lies. And those are, those things are easier to dismiss, but to, I mean, take whatever shit that someone on the internet gets and multiply it by a thousand. And that's what Tim has to deal with every day. And you know what I think people love to shit on Tim pool because uh, people have compared him to like the new mainstream media, but then he's also got a lot of fans who love him and support him. And maybe they're not as vocal. Um, I think because he is a person who does not tend to really like share a lot of his personal feelings online. I, I think some people mistake that for him being like cold or unfeeling or not having emotions like, okay, last night aside, last night, he definitely 
and of course the other night when he kind of had like that little meltdown and it was like scrotes my goats like go fuck yourself uh clearly like the emotions have been piling up but i think generally and i don't watch tim every night but i've watched enough to know he's he's not somebody who he doesn't talk about like his personal relationships he doesn't like the way that i talk about my personal relationships the way that like venti you know we'll talk about other content creators and tim i don't think does that as much i think he tries to really keep it professional and and based on news and and that's the thing is like i i was thinking about this today i'm like well what if i got to tim pool's level like what if it was me in the, in those shoes like i would have just as many haters they'd be hating for different reasons um i don't know i think it just helps to put yourself in the guy's shoes it's so easy to criticize it's so easy to criticize somebody else because you look at him and you're like well he's a millionaire fuck him he's got all this money like he doesn't know what it's like to be the little guy or um whatever your your like complaints of him are you just don't know what he's dealing with he's running a business he he's trying to like do the news or and create content He's also trying to manage several different employees who may not all have the same values as him, uh, who may not, you know what I mean? Like, clearly there's a conflict over which guests to bring on or which guests not to bring on and not to excuse the things he said or, or make it okay that, you know, it's definitely not okay that Shane Cashman called us digital cannibals or leeches or whatever and i think last night tim was trying to make the discernment between youtubers and like the pr bots so i think he last night was genuinely trying to apologize i think he we don't know like what information he's being fed we don't like you know what i mean we all like to assume we're all, each of us are the center of our own universe, right? So when I talk to somebody about the Eliza Blue thing, I'm coming from the perspective of I've seen so many videos about it. I've seen so much research. I've talked to so many people. But you can't assume that somebody knows as much as you do on a given topic. Like even today, I'm seeing comments like, oh, why are you going after Eliza? She just wants to help people. And I'm like, oh my God, where have you been? Where have you been for three weeks? But some people are just late some people are like this is day one of uh, eliza gate for some people so i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen and now tim's tweeting about should he shut down tim cast so he's clearly thinking about like what he wants to do with himself going forward that's my thoughts on that again i'm not trying to excuse the things he said that might have been shitty but my god would i do better if i were in his position and you you know you're so famous you have so much more money to manage you have so many employees to manage and then you have employees that are doing shit that you don't even know about because that any company that grows it's just you're not going to be able to be on top of everything it's it's your inner circle is so important that's what i'm kind of learning is like the people like you, you really got to make sure the people close to you um have your values in mind and are trustworthy and um what what people's motives are <laughs> oh my god i'm rich it's such a burden i know it's so easy to say that here's the thing is like it's so easy to criticize Tim Pool, but you have to ask yourself, like, what am I doing to help? You know, it, some there are some days all I do is bitch on Twitter, for sure. There are some days all I do is, like, live stream and bitch about the news. It's very easy to bitch. It's the easiest thing to do. But I think when you think about, oh, Tim's doing this wrong, Tim's doing this wrong, it's like, what the fuck have you done today to help um, solve the problems? Or, or what have you done today? to uh i don't know that goes towards your values a lot of times the answer is nothing it's it's just a lot easier to criticize and like you might tim is not perfect but he is better than the mainstream media if you don't like tim 
you can probably name at least one or two guests that, that he's had on that you really like, that do speak to your values, that do vibe with you. He has, sure, he's platformed a couple duds, but he's platformed a lot of great people too. Mugskin, thanks for Super Chat. I'm not interested in drama, fame, money. I'm interested in worldly affairs. This is part of Tim Pool's Twitter rant this morning, lying beta. You know, it's it's pretty hard to do what he does and not and not have fame inter, enter into it. And uh, I think the better you're doing, the more money you're going to make. So it's hard to take money out of the equation, you know. And it's I think it's impossible to take drama out of the equation because we're human beings with feelings. Um, what is drama really? But like passion you could say oh chrissy you're so dramatic about january 6th and it's like bitch i was there i'm just trying to get the truth out about the day and my experience there uh like you know what i mean it's kind of impossible to be at at the profile he's at without drama fame and money i think it sounds like maybe he said that like his desire is to just focus on the worldly affairs he's he probably wishes these other things didn't factor in so much. I don't know. Is it fair to say that he's lying? I mean, do, I, do any of us really know him well enough to say that? I don't know. I think it's easy to just say, oh, he's lying. He sucks. Uh, oh, this is what I wanted to bring up before. How What's happening to, to like the hate? Some of the hate that Tim is getting is not uncommon. I brought this article up maybe a couple weeks ago. But this is chicks on the right. Uh, they got shit for not covering Eliza Blue at first. Or maybe they're not even covering it at all still. Uh, so they put this piece out. Some chick named Eliza is causing the internet to explode. And we are now being criticized for what we are not saying about it. What the fuck? This came out just a week ago. In, ca <laughs> in case you haven't heard, there's a chick who currently goes by the name Eliza Blue who has gained popularity on Twitter and elsewhere as a human trafficking survivor advocate, which is what her Twitter bio says, so it must be true. I started following her on Twitter several weeks ago when I heard her speaking in a Twitter space one evening because I found her to be compelling and it seemed like she had gained the esteem of Elon and other folks I respect, Zuby, Ben Shapiro, Tim Pool, etc. But honestly, I didn't think much about her after I initially followed her and I didn't really pay attention to her tweets. You, what you people don't realize is like every guest who comes on Tim Pool is not necessarily somebody that Tim wanted on. Like he's the the booking decisions are not solely his to make. Um, but honestly, I didn't think much about her after I initially followed her and I didn't really pay attention to her tweets. For the last couple of weeks, though, I have seen her name everywhere. There are literally dust clouds of drama surrounding this woman. And y'all, Daisy and I have approximately had this much interest on it. Zero percent interest. So here are the chicks on the right saying they are not interested in all at all in covering Eliza. This was just a week ago. I mean, so who knows? Maybe they've changed their mind since then. But they're kind of they're kind of going fuck you guys. Like we don't like being harassed either. And I can understand coming from the position of like, wow, people have really been harassing me to cover this. I almost don't want to now just because I'm being harassed. And I think chicks on the right and also Tim were feeling that way. And it sucks that the drama got in the way of the real issue, which is the censorship. Yeah, you might be a person who's obsessively interested in the story. And lots of people we respect definitely are. They're giving tons of coverage. And I see constant tweets about her every day. It's exhausting. But far be it for us to tell other people what they should or shouldn't be interested in. Unfortunately, there are actual people out there who think that we have some sort of obligation to cover Eliza. They think that they should tell others what we should or shouldn't be interested in. It's just the oddest thing to me. Like, I get when people are mad at us for things we say, but to be mad at us for things we are not saying, what the fuck? And I understand why people, you know, we're giving people shit because they're like, this is a really important story. <laughs> we got to cover it. I understand both sides, I think. Which brings me to why this post is part of our wall of shame. Um, oh, wow. So this person tweeted Candace here. Um, now that this is blown up, all of you are either hiding, keeping quiet, or trying to do a fake story. 
it's it's harsh to assume it's not fair to assume that people aren't covering it because they are hiding or they're faking it like it's just you you have no control over what comes up on someone's radar or what what they value what they care about what they have time to cover was my reply harsh you bet it was but you don't get to accuse me of stuff like that baselessly lg decided that since candace bryson greg crowder and we had not given oxygen to this Oh, LG decided that since Candace, Bryce, and Gray Crowder, and we had not given oxygen to the story that we are hiding or trying to do a fake story. I think I understand the people. People are very concerned. And the people look to folks who have big flat platforms to help run the story up the food chain. So, yeah. This is Chicks on Right basically being like, okay, it is covered by many other outlets. Awesome. There are lots of psycho criminals out there. We're not always going to cover every single one individual person just because they're interested. I Hey, I appreciate that. I understand. But here's just an example of people got very mad at Chicks on the Right for not covering it. So no matter what your size, and they're nowhere near as big as Tim Pool, people are always going to be mad at you for not covering something. And like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Force somebody to talk about it? Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. Oh, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.